All right, go ahead and start us. Sin, are you balding? I am. But I also <laughs> cut my hair to the short as well. No guard all the way around. And Sin is balding in three, two, one. <laughs> You're listening to the Guardian Hub. You're listening to the Guardian Hub. You're listening to the Guardian Hub. You are listening to the Guardian Hub. The best Best hub hub on the net. Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the Guarding Up Podcast, where we talk about Destiny and Season of the Wish and more. And uh, Sin is balding. I mean, I don't, I, I don't have tons of hair either. But uh, hey, it's okay. That's why Sin. you're wearing the hat? You're still sexy. Oh yes. I was gonna say, dude is still a stud. <laughs> hey, we're doing some video tonight, so if you are not watching the show live, you are missing out. But I uh, can't promise we'll always do this, but uh, we may. Always do this in the future. Regardless, try to join us most Thursday nights around 9 p.m. Eastern. God's time. I do know we are going to have a uh, special show next week. We're going to be guests on DPS podcast, most likely, if that holds through. And uh, yep, so we may we're so good. That. But uh, most Thursday nights, you'll hear us. But also, we need to give shout outs because if you're hearing this on the podcast, we have a new intro. And this new intro was thought up pretty much exclusively from the one, the only Mr. Sweaty Spooks from Blueberry Lounge. How are you doing tonight, man? I'm doing quite well. Doing quite well. Uh, not playing Destiny at the moment, believe it or not. Taking a short break till we uh, get that nice little reset that we'll be getting into later whenever it comes to the twid. But playing uh, some Dragon Quest right now. Dragon Quest Eleven in Elusive Age. It's kind of like if you took the artwork of Dragon Ball Z and mixed it with the mechanics of Final Fantasy. It is made by Square Enix, and I am fucking loving it. Pardon my French. Sweaty. Very nice. <laughs> I love you so much, but take some appreciation again. That was so awesome for doing the intro. We love you so much, man. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I mean, whenever I was thinking about it... um, I mean, I know I'm not quite as active in the Discord as I would like to be. I'm barely active in my own Discord these days, just with what's going on. But anyways, I was like, well, as an ambassador of the Guardian Hub, I'd like to show, well, an act of good faith, if you will, as a supporter. And I took it upon myself because I had recalled on a previous episode, I mean, um, Kingsley had said something along the lines of a joke, kind of lighthearted. It wasn't serious, but I was kind of like, ha, huh, I heard that. Now I'm going to do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. it was a comment in regards to the Blueberry Lounge's new uh, intro music. And um, I think the comment, I'm not exactly quoting here, but it was something along the lines of, who do I got to pay to get something similar? And like I said, it was a lighthearted joke, but I was like, well, as an ambassador of the Guardian Hub, it will be done. Oh, thank you so much. And of course, we're all in the Owl Sector Alliance. Again, everyone, if you don't also listen to the Blueberry Lounge, what are you doing? As soon as you finish listening to this podcast, please check them out also. Thank you. Yeah, so we, we love having you now. in the Owl Sector Alliance. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We also got RNG tonight. It's been a second. Uh, you know, we we haven't all been playing Destiny, but maybe you'll have some fun uh, opinions on things that are coming out, or maybe not. How are you doing, sir? I always have opinions. Yeah, sure. I'm doing good. Who are you again? Pretty much. I'm sorry. I don't know. I've been in Discord so much lately. Are you um, Gator's brother, RNG Gator? What what is that name? I will fucking kill you. (laughs) (laughs) Don't you dare. I guess I, I guess I'm giving up no. the hat of beeping anything out anymore because uh, the last <laughs> all right last so many episodes uh, you t- you can tell we've aged. <laughs> you're the essence of Gator's RNG ness. That's what you are, right? <laughs> yeah, he needs to quit using RNG in his uh, podcast. He hasn't asked me for my approval. Well, you, you actually RNG spoke around. correctly, so uh, we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I I do like the double M double D Elmer Fudd standard of Aranga. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that true. Stuck. I haven't heard that for a hot second. 
Um, we got Cato, the sometimes blurry, sometimes not. I don't know. Are you like DSing <laughs> in life? <laughs> it says <basement>. Blurry face. <laughs> it's because I don't want to get up and turn the light on. So this is the yeah. light is coming from the monitor. This is what you're getting. No, the fair, youngest fair. man in the room is the most laziest. It's awesome. Yeah. And Rodimus, <laughs> the only one actually, uh, Rodimus is the only one actually uh, sporting a TGH uh, background. Yeah. Well, you told me I'd get rid of the other oh. one, so I got rid of the other one. <laughs> Speaking I of show you're on. <laughs> TGH, and I see Rodimus' shirt, I need to order another Guardian Up shirt. Mm-hmm. Oh, we do need to get on that. Maybe uh-huh. uh, Saturday night when we're jackboxing it up, maybe uh, maybe we can <laughs> brainstorm a little bit. The salsa verde chip? Yes. <laughs> Which I have. Voice of course is sin. Tell us about what you have. Ooh, you're showing it in the live video right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They are quite magical. Spicy, good flavor. I'm enjoying them. Excellent. But so yes, I, I appreciate Kingsley uh, went out of the way to send me two bags of them. I was hoping for a dozen, but I'll settle for two. And how many Jeez. bags do you have left? One, one point three. Point three. Okay. Point, point three. It's probably more like one point four. It'll probably be yeah. one after the night. <laughs> Most likely. Right on. And for those in the chat, um, if Bell is listening, I got the Reposado. So we'll, I tried a little bit. It's pretty good. Ooh. I'll give my full review because I know you asked a question. I'll give my full review on... I'm going to be the guest on the next uh, Guardian Downcast, by the way, uh, recording with Gator this uh, Friday, which is tomorrow as of when we're talking right now. And I know that's a question that Bell put for me. So tune in for that. Mm, very nice. Are you going to be the next speedrun champion? We're not doing a speed run. Oh, really? We're I'm just co-hosting it. Really. Both me and Gator just don't really care about, you know, that's more for like the newer people or whatever. I mean, the so. champion's already in the Guardian Hub house. Why challenge that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't touch this. <laughs> oh, I could have. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet I you would. I could have if I did it at the end of the year. <laughs> right. <laughs> and practice the entire year. Yep. Leading up to that, <laughs> no, just make sure it's the same speed. Like all, like the semifinals or whatever, we have like Gator do it like just one big thing. Just get, the uh, there, like, just get AI to read it. Ooh, yeah. There you go. No punctuation. <laughs> there's no stuttering. There's no stumbling. Just yeah. Good luck with that. Hmm. All right, what should we talk about tonight? Anything you want to talk about with life before we get into... There's actually a fair amount of Destiny news. And some pretty cool things, in my opinion, anyways. Trevor! Trevor, okay. <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> Let's start with that, Sen. Um, I was Trevor. very... A couple of us were skeptical of what missions were coming back or which ones are not. Which I'm ones are coming back, Sen? Whisper and uh, Zero Hour. Ooh, I'm definitely whisper. not disappointed. Whisper. I'm disappointed. Like, I'm cool not whip. disappointed either. I was just answering what I thought would happen, not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> well, yes, I'm glad they made it that. I'll say why I'm disappointed. I'm not disappointed that those were the missions coming back, because those are really good. I'm disappointed what they're doing. Yes. Like okay, talk about your disappointment with that, but I do think there's some cool things that are happening. I assume you're talking about weapons? Yes, the weapons. Like, Go I guess uh, they're making Outbreak Perfected and Whisper of the Worm craftable. Is that a Two problem? exotics that don't really need to be craftable. They're perfectly fine where they're at, but hey, we're going to make them craftable for whatever reason. So they're going to be too nice. Kato doesn't like nice things. Heard. <laughs> That's what I, I heard. mean. Yes, they didn't. didn't they also be, say. Only, sorry, whispers also getting more in the reserve or more in the mag, right? They also talked about. Yes, that. it's getting more in the reserve. So it's going to be crazy, potentially. 
I, I see it being the go-to option for DPS in certain raids. I mean, yeah. now, hopefully, we can all easily one-phase orcs. No excuses now, right? If we have even a better role and well, who knows how that'll all go down. We still want the catalyst, of course. Got to have that box breathing and everything procked well there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need some mood lighting on you, Cato. That's a recommendation in the chat. And more shirtness, shirtlessness from everyone else. <laughs> I don't know if we can promise that danger, but uh, we'll, get on, we'll get on that. I, re I remember chat. there was a, a shirtless raid in recent past. That's mm -hmm. right. There yes. may or may not have been Only some pictures. One of us I... started out shirtless, okay? I vaguely <laughs> remember this. <laughs> I vaguely remember it also. <laughs> I think that was the one where I was actually drinking more. The other one I kind of did, but then I was kind of slowing down. I didn't feel like really getting into it. I think that's the one where I was sick, too. Okay. okay. Um, you pulled through to the end. Back to the missions. <laughs> Back, yes, back, back to the missions. <laughs> Did they also what say that or changes are we getting? Um, well, they're I updating it. it on that. Yep. Okay, so, updated puzzles, encounters, rewards, and triumphs. Which, if I remember correctly, watching the live stream, they said they were going to be adding other weapons into these missions. Yeah, Was I that remember that? Right? They may they may have said that. I feel like they did. They I didn't think they say did during the live yeah, here, These reprovised uh, versions will retain some of the familiar elements of the classic missions, but you'll also find updated puzzles, encounters, rewards, and triumphs, as well as new secrets to discover on Legend difficulty. I mean, they said okay. they moved the chests. They said, yeah, they even the guys uh, designing them said they're very proud of the boss fights. Like the boss fights have been changed. I don't know if that means like new bosses, probably not, but maybe just how they are orchestrated, how they come out. Obviously power level to us today, as opposed to how easy it would be if they didn't change it. So I think, you know, even for those of us that have run these before and maybe don't even care about eh, maybe doing this on Legend every week, I definitely think we're kind of excited to go and at least experience it once again and see what's changed. Right. I'm curious if they're going to make the intrinsic upgrades a legend only or if you just run on regular i feel like that would be legend only otherwise what's the point and isn't that how the other exotic commissions have kind of worked out no and did i miss here that they said is there more than one catalyst now option available for these no the catalyst option will be singular. It's just going to be barrel, mag, and stock traits. Sorry, and that's what I meant, Cato, the catalyst things. But maybe they'll change the intrinsic other things to legend or I, not. But I don't know. But it did mention something about when you had to complete something in order to unlock certain traits for crafting or for the uh, crafting process. So After yeah, obtaining the exotic weapon thing. from each of the reprise missions, new quests will become available. This will allow you to unlock additional crafting options, including upgrading each weapon's unique intrinsic behaviors. Uh, new quests will become available each week for three weeks. But normal yeah, but that or doesn't, legend? Yeah, it doesn't say normal or legend. Yeah, no, it doesn't. That's all they say. I'm, I'm trying to remember, but I feel like they said legend was how you got the catalyst for it. And it would help you complete the catalyst by running a legend. But I could be just mm. imagining things. That would surprise. That wouldn't surprise me if they do it that way. Because that's how they did also, it with DMT. Like if you ran yeah. Presage on Legend, it helped you with the Catalyst progress because there were secret chests you could pick up along the way. Oh yeah, yeah. That would that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Actually, so I wonder if it's going to be similar. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of having to get 700 kills for Outbreak and the three or 400 for Whisper, it just do the alleged mission, find the secret chest, and get the catalyst progress. Um, they said 40 <clears throat> minutes for normal and yeah. 20 minutes for legend. So normal will probably be quite easy, I would assume. 40 seems a little extreme. <laughs> I'm excited it for before, it. originally? 25, I think. Yeah. 
So no one I has didn't any run, excuses. Yeah, I didn't run either one of them like more than once or twice. And even then, it's like, anyone I don't know else, what the fuck I was doing. Anyone else not do either of those missions ever? Rodimus, have you I did not do either one of them. I bought them out of the okay. wall. Mm. I think I think you'll like them. Whisper was very iconic when it came out. The music in it, it's amazing. It kind of has like this Tronish soundtrack to it. And, and didn't they say during the live stream that he was listening to like the music from Stranger Things when it yep. kind of inspired him yes. to make it? Listen, I actually watched a portion of it this week. It's the first. Wow. <laughs> And zero hour is just goofy. I mean, you get to go through the whole old area D1 tower in the underground areas. You get to run away from a psycho killer robot. And um, and then you're in the one of these loading bays in the tower and just with waves and waves of millions of like fallen coming at you. And they did show, <laughs> yay, they're adding Briggs into it also because <laughs> we didn't have Briggs originally in zero hour. <laughs> right. I'm excited for Would Zero Hour more than Whisper, because I never actually got right. to run Zero Hour. Like I got carried through it, but I didn't actually get to see all of Zero Hour. Did you get to get killed by uh, Trevor, or were you carried? Did you even not get to that part? I didn't even get to that part. Ooh, that's how quick the people were running it. Like yeah, that was my experience. Too. Wow. What were you saying, Sweaty? You got to do those, or not really? Uh, yeah, um, in terms of zero hour, my experience is, if not the exact same as Kato's, um, Whisper, I do remember, I I participated in that one quite a bit more because um, of my struggle with jumping puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly at the time, whenever I was just starting out, you know, so, but yeah, I, that one's a little more memorable for me. Yeah. I remember going back a little bit of a struggle bus. I remember going back in the Whisper to find the Eyes of Sabathun for uh, Runa's Effigy. Yes. Man. So many yeah. memories. I'm like, was it that long it's time like ago three years it? ago. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Time it feels like forever. Quickly. Yeah. That it does. <clears throat> um, we can also get a new version of the uh, reprised versions of the classic ships. Uh, with yeah. an updated look, it's called Crave of the Worm, inspired by A Thousand Wings, which was the original one. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Um, that's one of the big things that was announced in the dream was what the two missions are going to be. Mm. Let's talk really quick about um, <clears throat> the other PvP th PvE thing, which we don't know too much about, and then we can talk about um, the maps yeah. for PvP. But... Um, they told us a little bit more. We're all like, okay, are they going to tell us more about this Pantheon thing? Uh, not really. Still, all we really know is it's a raid boss gauntlet. Bosses. On April 30th. Yes, bosses. Plural. I'm just reading the word here. I know, they say raid boss gauntlet here, but then on the next line, you have the opportunity to face raid bosses yeah. in a weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards. You can go in on your own and you can use or you can use Fire Team Finder. We'll give you more details as we get closer to release. I'm excited. Something new, something challenging. I'm excited. New title, but potentially. We have a question that relates to this from Mr. Monkey. He says, What would your dream scenario be and what do you think will realistically we will get with Pantheon? Any any dreams that you have, Sin? Well, I don't know about dreams. I don't even know really what to expect other than I can see it um, do a raid boss. You go into like a portal or you get transported into a next room and it's another raid boss. That's probably, it sounds, that's what I was, sounds to me what it's going to be. Is you just keep getting thinking. transported into a, each room with a boss. Yeah. What it's how do you think that relates to the weekly weekly challenges? Probably not. I'm hoping 
there's no way they're just going to have us have one boss per week, right? There's got to be, no. yeah, because they say bosses, but we'll have bosses. challenges. So are the challenges related to, oh, hopefully maybe it's something like different loadouts or if you kill them a certain way. That's what I was just getting ready to say. What if it's like a locked loadout scenario where do you have to run one of each type and each slot kind of thing? Like, um, yeah. Like the original like either world raids and stuff. Yeah. 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 So what if it's that, that kind of but like a um instead of going to like through a portal and teleporting to each one, what if it's um like a vex simulation? Where the boss is just hmm. generated. That is my dream, speaking of now that like they're probably gonna have us because I don't know how they have the time to tune all this, but right. I'm guessing we're just going to see the arenas as is. But if we can have the bosses out of their raid arenas into some simulation, right. I would freaking love that. Or even That's what I'm hoping for. Scenario, to it like the same time, like one back here and like three of us are facing this way. And like that would never happen, <laughs> but that'd be so cool. No, yeah. That what, would about, be cool. Uh, what about bringing <laughs> the bosses back that were missing from the, you know, now like you're vaulted raids, yeah. Callus, Leviathan. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I was if wondering. They did that, oh, we would go wild. The community, if that, if they, if that's why they're keeping this a secret, we would go wild. I would give much preps. The yeah, imagine <laughs> <I'm throwing laughs> just bring uh, the boss out. I, I mean, I don't know why they couldn't because technically, they have a Galron mm -hmm. model still in the game. They have a Callus model still in the game. They obviously have the Vex Hydra's model still in the game. Like, well, we obviously have Briggs in the it's game. So, possible. Sam, possible. what would you do if all of a sudden you were facing the wrath of the machine boss? <laughs> God, they won't do that one though. Now that <laughs> know, would be that would be fucking awesome. That above be and awesome. beyond a dream. That would be yeah. cool if they did find a way to incorporate. Every raid boss, even through Destiny One, like you said, having well, the Wrath Machine no, boss in there. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. That's just a you know. It'd be cool. I mean never say never, because they gotta do yeah. something and try and get their population back up. Well, I'm keeping my expectations a little bit tempered. No matter what this is gonna be, it it could be interesting. Uh when I first heard this a couple times too, I was a little worried, like, well, if this becomes popular, is it just going to be a thing where people just want to run this because they're getting the rewards and they never want to do the full raids? <laughs> that would like, be my only concern is doing the Pantheon, whatever it may be, for the raid rewards instead of actually running the raid. To me, that's a concern because raids are a lot of fun. This sounds like it's going to be fun. But if interest in actual rating drops off because of it, that's kind of suck. I guess it just depends on the rewards you're going to get out of it, too. But if you're getting the same raid weapons, then yeah, I can see that. But if you're not, it's still going to force you into the raids. Well, yeah, I mean, aspect it gets us to play with people that don't want to do full raids, too. Well, they could also it's, partner this with what they're doing with those limited edition releases, right? Unique roles and unique skins on them. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Way. What if it's just, what if you just get ornaments from it? Right. But it, the wording of it in the twit is very, very vague. It says you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to face raid bosses in a weekly challenge, right? It kind of makes you wonder is it going to be that simulation where you face different bosses or is it going to be the one boss? I, I think Kingsley mentioned it earlier, right? Is that a concern? Is it if it's going to be just one boss per week? It shouldn't be because they use the word bosses. Um, but uh, that could be taken. Well, no, that wouldn't be concerning if it's raid. just one boss for the week, though. Like, well, look at how they say this: raid bosses in a weekly challenge. That's got yeah. to be together, right? What? If, what if another concern? Is what if it's only you can only run it once a week instead of over and over again per character? Yeah. yeah. What if it's just like a raid where you can only run it once a week? That would be. Ugh. 
I mean, to, to be honest with you, I think they do. They should not make it farmable. If they want to make it worth its wild, it has to be a once a week per character. To give us something like maybe better rewards, one per character. Who knows? We'll, we'll find. Maybe we'll find out in the next couple of weeks. So. What if it's because they said they're gonna release more information before the thirtieth? Yeah, they got to. Yeah, <laughs> a few days before. <laughs> and and to be honest with you, I'd be okay with that. I think that Bungie has the last couple of years has been pretty shitty, and not shitty, but um, they should keep things closer to their chest and not tell anyone what's coming. So, I like everything that they've told us so far, and I think the community's been really excited with these last three streams. Uh, it's worked out pretty well. I I feel like they're not telling us this one because they might be putting some final touches on it. Or possibly, or maybe this is going to be a really cool thing where they're bringing other other things in. But here's the thing: if they're going to tell us that a few days before, they should just tell us now. Don't do this a few days before thing. Keep it a total secret where we go in and we find it as a surprise. Or tell us now. That's just my opinion. Right. Say so rather have it as a surprise and tell us now. To be honest with you, and that's fine. But the three day before is like the wor- I hate that the most because then like they're still telling us ahead of time, rather than us finding it out organically. So, you know, I think part of that though too is the the streamers kind of ruin that for the population and the community also because if they get a heads up about it and gets it out five days beforehand now it, the, the surprise is ruined so they could be keeping it close to the best for that reason yeah ruined I, I'm excited now I'm hoping there's going to be some cool thing there and honestly <clears throat> today's what April 4th we'll be, it'll be here sooner than we realize so oh. and uh, we'll run this a bit and we'll get sweaty to run it with us too <laughs> and sweaty, I I'm excited to check out these new maps. Uh, speaking of new stuff, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't I'm, do crucible. I want to hear everyone's opinion, but uh, I'll just tell you that <laughs> second one on Neil Muna looks so tight. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to these maps as well. Uh, let's see. All right, we have even tight nice. labs on Europa. Any thoughts about that one? Anyone? That was the one that was like. Uh, it was like a big servitor in the middle. It was like a fueling station for Aramis's ship or something like that. Yep. I don't think I've seen the maps, to be honest with you. I didn't get to see much of the maps. I seen Even Titan, that was about it. Like I'm still excited. So Even Tide looks okay. Cirrus Plaza on Neo Muna looks freaking amazing. It's very crisp, clean. It's that one they were talking about that has two levels. <clears throat> so there's like a little mm-hmm. middle area. And it's two levels, and you can kind of like mm. shoot up and down, and then there's like all these entrances and stuff. Dissonance, I'm a little worried about. That's the terraformed pyramid ship. They even right. said it, it looked cluttered to me, even when I was looking at it. And they <clears> said <throat> they took away so many things to make it a little cleaner so there'd be less things you could get caught up on and make it look a little cleaner as a PvP map. But still, if you look at this, I'm curious to think everyone's opinions. It looks very kind of cluttered to me. I'm trying to find the reference. I mean, I can see that like new maps, even tied Europa, um, Sirius Plaza being, but I don't, I'm trying to find the pictures because I can't recall. I need to jog the memory a bit because, you know, sure. Um, I I do remember that the one that you're concerned about, the pyramid ship, like I, I haven't like seen the video or anything for it. I just kind of seen the picture and it looks cool. I think maybe Neo Muna might be my favorite one. Um, and I am excited to have finally have a Europa map as well. Nice. But <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I mean we won't really know till we get to play it, right? So of course. Yeah. It's yeah, gonna be yeah. interesting the fact that they're built around 3v3. But they'll still be in the 6v6 playlist, so that could be very hectic. Yes, yeah. Also, yeah, Cirrus Plaza in that middle area with sixes. Oof, but that could be fun also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're built around threes. Um, yeah, Sin, you put something in the chat. Does that show the pictures, I believe? Yes. 
There's like a single picture of each. Oh, just a single picture. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm looking for. So open this up right quick. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Cirrus Plaza, they kind of just show from an outside area anyways where you're not going to be standing, I feel like. Um, no, not Cirrus Plaza. Uh, Essence Pyramid Ship. Cirrus Plaza, they're showing an area where you would actually be at and then also the uh, Eventide Labs. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, three views in light in mind. Including their those modes, they're focusing on Dominion survival and their newest mode collision. Um, <clears throat> with the new maps, you'll get to enjoy the backdrop of new locations you haven't yet explored in PvP. All right, and yes. what RNG has been looking forward to the most? You can change your character look. <laughs> <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> yeah, but no Sorry, beards still. Know. Still no beards. I want to change my class. Yes, folks. <laughs> Please, Bungie. No, they did not add any new things, I believe. But we can just at least change for yep. things that we've already had. We can change the body, the face, the hair, the marking, uh, body type one or two, so female or male. The only thing we cannot change is race type so we can't go from human to exo right. to awoken or vice versa yep <clears throat> yep and along with that oh i say along with that but in yeah april 9th you'll have a name change available for those of you that wasted your first one <clears throat> <laughs> did anyone yeah. here waste i can't think of a few um, you have the option to change your name again. So, and from the way they made it sound, that if you guardian. haven't, well, yeah, but from the way they made it sound, that if you haven't used your first one, it's still available too. Yeah. So you'll have two available. Which is kind of neat. I, I thought the first one had a time limit on it, though. I'd see. I don't I'm know. Not now. Maybe not anymore once this change comes through. New name, shirtless Kato picks. Who's going to take it first? <laughs> Are you going to yeah, waste so your name on that? Then? If you didn't take advantage <laughs> of our previous name change opportunity, now you'll have two. Oh. So. Shirtless Kato underscore OF dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was watching you guys play last night. And wasn't there someone in the team that their name was I wasted my name change? Yes, there was. Yes, yes, there was. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's actually good. That's amazing. New light tutorial experience is getting a change or update. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Which, yeah. Um, where it says down below. How far down below? Yeah, you got yeah, Quite you got scroll a good little ways. Oh, Jesus, through the weapon stuff and everything. Yeah. Um, that's weapon balanced. It's below that. Keep going. Oh yeah, more more or less. You can just skip. Like you can skip the whole new light tutorial. And it's irreversible if you do skip. Yeah. So for somebody that's wanting to come in that played the game previously and doesn't want to deal with it, just skip. You'll be fine. And there will be even more reasons why you may want to consider that because of one other thing they talk about here, plus the gift of the Thunder Gods you can level up too, right? New light kits. Um, be over to head to the tower, choose a kit that's handpicked by Ikora. New light kits contain a curated set of gear and subclass abilities. These kits are themed around specific subclass fantasies to help provide players with a shortcut to build crafting and give them a taste of that sweet, sweet space magic. There are nine kits in all, one for each light subclass. Players can claim one per class. Um, each kit will contain two legendary weapons, one exotic weapon, Four rare armor pieces and a legendary class item. 
along with subclass you, abilities such as aspects and fragments. Yes. Uh, Rodimus, remember, we were, like, new players. The main thing that was the complaint was having to spend so much glimmer on every little subclass thing. And this won't yes. top you out on everything, but at least a new player could pick one and just spec into that right away. Which will help. And I think giving them the legendary weapons and the one... Now, is it the same exotic, or is it randomized that they're going to get? Do we know? I was wondering. So, it says one exotic weapon. They don't say, I don't think. In addition, <clears throat> New Light Kits will also grant players a short quest that, when completed, will grant them a piece of exotic armor. So you're getting an exotic armor. I'm going to assume a random exotic weapon, depending on subclass you pick. Mm. These wallpapers are pretty fucking cool, though. It can be fucking Red yep. King. You watch, <laughs> <laughs> or Sunshot, or something. I mean, that was. I was gonna say Solar. I could see Solar cool. being Sunshot. Yeah. yeah, but even like when Destiny Two first came out, you, you got to pick one of the three exotic weapons just when you kind of did the missions. Remember, it was just kind of yep. handed to you. Maybe, maybe it'll be shot. based on what you pick for your subclass. I mean, you might get a Void weapon or a Solar Arc weapon. Yeah, so I'm sure people want to know on this exotic thing, but the cool thing is you get two legendaries, you get an exotic weapon, four rare armor pieces, and a legendary class item, subclass abilities on one subclass gets fully specced out, it sounds like, and then like Kato said, a quest to give you an exotic armor piece. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's magical. I never really realized how much, but it makes sense, but I never really realized how much they want to get more people playing not just this isn't just final shape this is the lead up to final shape and it really does make sense to kind of try to build some momentum whatever do we think anyone have speculation that do you think we would have gotten into the light no matter what if it wasn't pushed back or something similar because i feel like with this last expansion they always should have had some kind of like cool lead up yeah i feel like so I don't, I don't necessarily. I feel like some of this was stuff that we were going to get, anyways. But I think it well, got... I also think it's a byproduct of like the special, unique pressure situation that they're in right now. Um, ultimately leading us why we're getting it now. Would we have gotten it in the next expansion? Probably. Um, but I think it's the right move of what they're doing right now. It is, it is good, yeah, and I still want to kind of say, stepping back from all this and seeing these three streams now and everything that's come out, this is better than I was expecting. It's not, like, the most amazing thing in the world. Like, it's hard to compare it to the, the 30th anniversary pack or whatever, but this is definitely better than I was expecting, especially with adding on this Pantheon thing, too. Sounds like they got another one this Tuesday, too, don't they? Yeah. Yes, big reveal of... Um, Final shape. Final shape mm -hmm. developer reveal. Then if you watch shape. it for 15 minutes on Twitch, you get a, an emblem. Yep. That emblem, the first one, looks mm -hmm. cool. Yep. So we will be, at least I know I'll be hopping in. I mean, they did, we didn't mention it here, but if you, <clears throat> we might have in the pre-show, but um, yeah, so Tuesday, the 9th, I mean, a lot of the Into the Light stuff drops. Uh, they are going to have a competition. The first team to get to level 50, the first three teams to get to level 50 on Onslaught will get a pretty cool Shax helmet replica, the whole team of three. Um, so it's kind of like a raid race, but not. It's a, you know, it's a Onslaught race. <clears throat> um, I'll definitely be hopping in that day. I have excited to check it out, whoever's on during the day, and of course, again, in the evening. And uh, we'll know a little more about Final Shape also. And then everyone will be Very back nice. playing Destiny, right? <laughs> at least a little bit. <laughs> um, at least for a week. Yeah, at least for a week. Yeah, for a little bit of time. So I'm reading Strike Team Update stuff. Yes. I don't know Why if not? Sweaty has read any of this. Uh, PvP but Strike Team? Today. Yes. Yeah, I, I have for sure. Um, I'll let you 
I'm, I'm not going to take away your thunder. <laughs> uh, changes to comp and trial when it comes to special ammo. Yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. I got to go into details. The thing that caught my attention was the not swap improvements. Mm-hmm. In comp and in trials for the first two weeks after update 7.3.6, um, while they're running the ammo crate experiments mentioned above, they're going to have a not swap modifier that will now remove ability energy if you change the ammo type of a weapon in your kinetic or energy slot midlife. So if mid match you run out of special and you switch that weapon, you then lose ability energy. Just like if you change exotics currently. So it definitely solidifies the if you're going to run a special, then you more or less leave the special on for the whole time. So I'm kind okay. of excited for that. That'll definitely shake things up a little bit. You, um, well, you can also, swap between weapons with the same ammo type without penalty. For example, if you have conditional finality in your kinetic, yeah. you can swap to... A, yeah, that next piece is kind of a clarifying yeah, you detail. Can't swatch, yeah, you can't swap from special to primary and then back without mm-hmm. losing ability energy. Correct. And then they have a term to the service update. Um. Mm. The focus on matchmaking manipulation moving forward, intentionally manipulating matchmaking to gain an unfair advantage, whether using Smurf accounts or external third party tools, will be a bannable offense. This includes attempts to bypass any of our matchmaking systems, including outlier protection, ranked, and fire team based matchmaking. A Smurf account is defined as an account that has been intentionally deranked or sabotaged over a sustained period to prevent itself or to present itself as a very low-level player for the sole purpose of manipulating matchmaking. Why do we w. keep laughing when I hear that term, Smurf account? <laughs> <laughs> players, who utilize, account. players who Smurf. utilize these accounts moving forward will be subject to bans and restrictions, depending on the severity of the abuse. Aren't they about this four years too late with this? <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily think they're four years too late with for it because a lot of these changes are things they've been implemented in the last six months. Mm. But overall, yes, in general, it's like four years too late. This is all things that should have been done four years ago, but now they're trying to play catch up essentially. No Smurfs allowed in the game. Got it. No Smurfing. <laughs> Weapon balance update. Uh, okay. <clears throat> These changes are all to base weapon damage except for otherwise noted and apply to both PvP and PvE. Reach loading grenade launchers impact damage increased by 40%. Reduced disorienting grenade radius by 15%. Lightweight bows increased base damage by 6%. La Monarch and Wishender are not affected by this change. Uh, precision 450 autos are a little too forgiving, so they're reducing the base damage by 5%. Precision 180 RPM and adaptive 140 RPM hand cannons needed a small tweak to how forgiving they are, particularly with this explosive payload. Same is true really of pulse rifles and rapid fire scouts. So precision hand cannons, two crit, two body, low resilience, increased base damage by 6%. Adaptives have an increased rain cushion for the three tap. We've offset their damage reduction from explosive payload to allow them three tap guardians of any resilience with optimal range. So they're increasing body shot damage by 1% and increasing critical hit by 4%. Just enough to make it a three tap again with the current changes. Pulse rifles. Uh, have increased rapid fire, have increased forgiveness to allow eight critical hits to kill low resilience guardians. So increased body shot damage by 3.5%, increased critical hit damage by 1%. Lightweights, increased body shot damage by 6%, increased critical hit by 3%. Adaptive, body shot by 5, critical hit by 2. Scout rifles, 
uh, rapid hit increased base damage by 2%. Shotgun, uh, precision frame, corrected a rounding issue that was causing precision shotguns to require one extra pellet to kill Max Julian Guardians. Okay. Exotics. Um, first up is Whisper of the Worm. Increased total ammunition from 18 to 24 before reserve mods. So I think with full reserves, you get 20 or 21. So now that should be like 26, 27 ish, somewhere in there. Oh. Love. 1,000 voices. They're increasing the reserves on that. Total ammunition from 7 to 11 before reserves. <clears throat> Quicksilver Storm. Um, oh, they're dialing it back. Interesting. So increased shots to trigger rockets by 50%. So yay. Reduced grenade area effect damage versus combatants by 37.5%. Okay. Last word. Increased base damage by 6%. That's not surprising because, yeah, it's struggling in PvP right now with the changes. Um, Forerunner inadvertently received the primary ammo sidearm critical damage bonus. We fix that issue, increases base damage to compensate. So he gets the damage increase by 6%. Uh, perks. Master of Arms on Recluse. They're reducing the damage from 20% to 15%. Okay. Magnificent yeah. Howl on Luna's Howl. New perk description is the number of precision final blows before reloading affects the total rounds granted with increased range and damage. Precision final blows while Magnificent Howl is active extend and the effect for additional rounds. It's still kind of broken, but a little... It'll be fine. Dude, I can't right now. In the chat. <laughs> RNG and it's like twitching. <laughs> Sorry. No, go ahead, Q. We're almost um, done with this part. I know. So much reading. I'm ignoring <laughs> the chat right now. Yeah, you should um, it's probably best. <laughs> micro missiles to make sense on the random rolled version of Mount Top. We decided to convert it into an intrinsic trait which we would then reuse to make more micro-missile frame grenade launchers in the future. We also really didn't want to return to mountain to mountaintop PvP meta. So this version can no longer one-hit kill in PvP, but the improved impact damage increases its viability in PvE, giving it a more unique role. It can now be used like a rocket jumping tool. Interesting. Redesign the perk to be an intrinsic trait. It does less damage, direct damage to players. Retuned its PvE damage to be competitive with other breach load grenade launchers. Granted a slightly increased reload, sp reload speed. Um, crucible only changes. Flinch can have a randomizing effect on duels, so to increase the rear for skilled gunplay, we reduced flinch on primary weapons across the board by 15%. Um, Sunshine gets increased precision damage by 11% to address the current sandbox changes. Hell yeah. Um, which injures exit damage. Was dealing too much damage, so we've adjusted the base damage to compensate. So reduced base damage by 5%. Um, corrected some weapons, getting incorrect ammo amounts for the meter rewards and crates. Reduced strand fragment cost. Well, and then now we're caught back up with everything. Ooh, yes. I think. And ch check out the uh, screenshots, the backgrounds, and the uh, the uh, phone backgrounds, and all the stuff. Yeah. There are thirty six messages in the chat. Jesus. 
<laughs> yes, you missed they're all, everything. They're all gifts. There was too much weapon talk. <laughs> what did you post that for, Sin? For the uh, backgrounds. Break it up. For the backgrounds. Okay. Thank you. I wasn't sure how to get to the twid. Nope. <laughs> you didn't. I'm helping. <laughs> he was I'm doing something. twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> Ooh. Get out. I have a uh, bad I have a bad habit of like focusing on too many things at once, so, <clears throat> so instead you focus on nothing. Is there anything in them that was worth <laughs> touching on? Uh, there was one sure. thing I wanted to mention. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yes. So yes. corrections from patch 7.3.5. There's just one note that I wanted to bring up. So the post game trials weapon rewards will now only mm -hmm. grant the weekly weapon. For example, if the weekly adept weapon is the summoner, all post game drops will also be drops of the summoner to make it easier um, for people to target farm the role of the weapon that they are interested in. That's good. Yeah, I skipped okay. over that. That's a good change. Yeah. I, I, you know, being the trials guy, I had to bring it up. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's You're good. That's great. <laughs> Just to that was like the, the only thing, there, man. <laughs> that's somebody. No, you did it. great. Anything we want to talk about should be brought up. Like, uh, like, uh, except um, the pictures in the chat. <laughs> With the exception of the chat, right. Yes. yes. So, That's why you should tune in Kato, live so you can participate there, listener. Kato lights up a nice Marlboro Black after a nice, <laughs> nice uh, expulsion like the of the twid. Expulsion of the twid. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That was a long <laughs> tweet. <laughs> Don't feed it to RNG's gif. <laughs> well, Need the best gift candle. in the chat was RNG's baby on fire. So. <laughs> that's, my, that's my happy birthday one. Every time somebody has a birthday, I wish them and use that picture. Yeah. <laughs> you say some of these wallpapers yeah. are pretty good. Yes, I would say... I already switched one of them to my computer, so. Nah. I'm gonna I downloaded that. the uh, Hunter one already. Of course you did. I have, I have rotating wallpapers on both my monitors, and they're all Demon Slayer, so I'm good. <laughs> Sin, you're going to download the Warlock one, right? Hell no. Hey, you owe me. I got you Salsa Verde. <laughs> I, I still wouldn't download you know, it. Like the solar <laughs> gunslinger. Thing. The the solar hunter does look amazing. It's the best one. Yeah. I don't know. The warlock dawnblade looks pretty good too. Mm, I just don't like the wing thing. Um, I like the arc one. <clears throat> the void one oh. isn't specific enough. They're making a change to chat experience. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, that's right. Updating text, chat to auto join chat channels by default. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yes. It should be fine. I mean, well, they are upgrading also, their censorship when it comes to the chat. So, yeah, yeah. I was just reading that. And that's why we had to have the birth dates too, because yep. if you don't meet a certain age, I'm sure you won't be able to have that on by default. Yes, that is also mentioned. Sin, are you old enough to be allowed to have the chat? Nope. Negative. Okay. <laughs> You're giving. No, details. I don't think Sin's really balding here, guys. I think the hair is just moving downwards, <clears throat> you know, towards the beard area. No, it's moving. <laughs> Inwards to the center of my head. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did that? What do you guys uh, yep. for this week uh, for Iron Banner? What do you think of tribute? Oh, there's Iron Banner. Interesting. If yep, if you go in with at least four <laughs> people, so you can actually match make. That, that seems to be the problem. It's actually finding people for a match because nobody's playing it apparently. But yeah, it I is so myself. chaotic. It's so much fun. 
Like it I'd is like to try that on a full. Uh, I'd like to try that on a full fire team of malfeasance because man, I got to do that with uh, the J Man X who we had previously on episode forty four of the Blueberry Lounge. But anyways, um, I made a YouTube video about it. But man, dude, we got someone their first we ran with that method. It was just crazy bonkers. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little bit I played. It was hard to find a match as a single for a little bit. Um, it is chaotic. I do like the fact that the the dumping posts rotate throughout the map. So yeah. it's not just in one spot, so you can't camp it. Yeah, it makes it so chaotic. Like, oh, you can pick up, was it seven crest max? And then you're like scrambling to attempt to make it to the depot before you get shot. Like... It actually looked fun. I was watching you and Bell and Sin play it's... last night, and you guys were just—it was crazy in the middle there for a second. <laughs> they were the last match I did last night. I had secured thirty-four crests, and I had none of them deposited. <laughs> <laughs> I could not make it anywhere without being shot. Yeah, I think Bell said it was reminded him of the finals. A little bit, I would agree with that. Yeah, the finals with their um, their heist, their yeah. heist mode, where you have to go pick up something and bring it back to the safe, but yeah, everything is fair game. Yeah, so it's honestly probably what I'll be doing this weekend ish, potentially. I played some comp this week just to try and get my seasonal challenges done. And that took like two hours to get four matches. Mm. Ouch. But also, that was also at like 10 a.m. this morning, so. I wonder how many people are streaming Destiny, Destiny 1. Destiny 2 right <laughs> now. No, I'll get to Destiny 1 also, but I was going to start with <laughs> Destiny 2. Um, shout out to Panda. He's streaming right now, but... Um... Destiny 2, well, it's hard to know when there's lots, <laughs> but there's um, 7,000 viewers right now. And is there a way to see how many are streaming? I mean, there's a fair amount actually going right now. Maybe Thursday's a happening night. I don't know. Well, currently in Steam, there's 40, we'll say 46,000 people in Destiny 2. Okay, that's that's a little low, but that's just Steam. That's just Steam, though. Yeah, and then Destiny 1, there's actually... Whoa. How many? Jeez. Uh, Well, there's 21 viewers, but... Oh, okay, I, was, okay, I should have been checking. I wasn't checking live, but still. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 live Destiny 1 streams right now. Dead game. 21 viewers. <laughs> well, yeah, it is, basically. But uh, I'm still surprised to see nine live streams. Oh, <clears throat> and in Destiny oh. 2, there's still a lot of live streams also. I'm just going to join you in Orbit Kingsley. Why? I'm not doing anything. I don't know. You're doing nothing. Live update offered on demand. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so, I love date sends join me in orbit. Apparently, Destiny is ranked number seven of 140 of all MMOs. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Well, it's been around for a long time, so that's got its weight into that. So, yeah. I was just curious. I'm just kind of. We do Apparently there's question. 42 million registered accounts for Destiny 2. Just a minor number. It's no big deal. I don't want to get the name wrong. I think it's I think it's Kryptonic wants to watch us do a Wrath of the Machine at some point, Sen. Oh, I'm okay. Out. <laughs> Count me out. Yep. Let's schedule it. I'm game with doing a wrath. 
Man, we can't cross play. I'll join you. <laughs> I know. We can get. Where did you get that request from? We were talking about it, I think, over in DPS podcast or uh, DPS um, Discord. And um, I mentioned that I occasionally go back once a year or so, play it and stream it. And then Kripnik said, I'm down to watch and then followed me on Twitch, even though I very. <laughs> <rarely stream. laughs> so, I mean, we get we got our norm. We can get like me, you, Batman, Muffin, Yoda, Ed, whatever. We'll have enough people. So. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Well, I, I know you asked me know. last week um, to bring you a top ten list of conspiracy theories. I do have that if you want it. Yes, let's let's get that on the show. Conspiracy <laughs> theories, <laughs> oh, top God. ten. Oh boy! Yes, <laughs> I asked for it. You can. You can, you can <laughs> me. Hi, Kingsley. It's all yours. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Um, I'm gonna do the exotic. Okay, okay. Last week. JFK. I remember, but I remembered um, Kingsley asked for that. But uh, JFK is number three. Wow, number three. Okay. Um, nine eleven. Number one. Oh, okay. that makes sense because it's more recent too. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Like Area Fifty One, aliens. Uh, area fifteen, num- area fifty one is number six. Okay. okay. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Not on the list. <laughs> what the Damn hell? it. The, um... <laughs> no. So, have you ever seen the the movie National Treasure? Yes. All this, yes. Yeah. The went around the Mount, Rushmore, room of Mount Rushmore. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. But is that really? That's just from the movie. I know. There are but that's all I could think rooms. of right there. There are, but oh my gosh! Okay. No fucking How about Jesus. Princess Diana's death. Oh, that's a good um, one. Yeah. Not on the list. That's mm. bullshit. Yep. <laughs> um, Sorry, a bullshit list. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> when was this list no, last Princess updated? Di- Princess Diana was number twenty-six. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't tell there. me, but it's always live up and it's always live and up going. Anything about aliens? <laughs> um, that would be the area. Twenty twenty. Oh, uh, the twenty twenty presidential election. Not on the top ten. The January sixth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not not in the top ten. Okay. There's some recent uh, stuff in this list, but. I don't know how what about the is. bridge and the ship? Not on the list yet. It's probably not there. Yeah. Moon landing. <laughs> oh, moon, landing. moon landing. Moon landing is number two. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. yes, then, I got one. Yeah, I should have remembered that one. Uh, Bell said crop circles is not on the list. <laughs> what do you get, Bell? That's a little vague, but no. <laughs> Love you, Bell. Um, no, Sam. Crop testing. <laughs> um, would you really count like I don't know I mean we're like, doing pretty good we got about five like foot so, and right? Sasquatch is that a conspiracy theory not on the list but there's another fictional character like that on the list Loch Ness Monster number 10 what's the conspiracy how's that conspiracy that we're theory? hiding it that it's alive what all right. About well, Massa's giant sea cage. Not on the list. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could see the Loch Ness, like somebody's um, actually out there doing it. Maybe okay, HD has a good suggestion uh, just because it's a joke. Birds aren't real. <laughs> Birds aren't real. <laughs> Birds aren't real. <laughs> Not on the list. <laughs> Not on I've the heard list. That before. <laughs> Government oh, spies. Um, the NSA. Not on the list. <laughs> the band Rush. Religion. Bell. What about religion? It's not on the list. Illuminati, that's a good one. Illuminati's number four. Led Zeppelin oh, okay. Led Zeppelin uh Stairway to Heaven. The <laughs> not on the list. Ah, oh, goddamn. The forbidden yeah, we song. Left, we have <laughs> Okay, you got number one. You got number one, nine eleven. Number two, the moon landing. Three, JFK assassination. Four, the Illuminati. Six, Area fifty one. And number 10 is the Loch Ness Monster. 
All right. So hit five, for number seven, five. Eight, nine. Canada's not hit. real. <laughs> Canada's not real is not on the list. <laughs> Sorry. That's just America's <laughs> attic, guys. <laughs> Ed. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> um, two of them are European related. Mm. Okay. COVID would start it in a lab? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's really one European. One. <laughs> what was yeah, that, RNG? COVID. Is COVID, is COVID one of them? No, not on the list. <laughs> okay. European oh. related. Shit. Earth is flat. Uh, not in the top 10, but I'm going to go find it because it's got to be on this list somewhere. It's got to be on there somewhere. <laughs> People love, love talking about that on TikTok these days. Uh, crop circles is number thirty-seven. Okay, okay. I am not ready. seeing she, flat she, Earth. Ones. I mean, unless Princess Di, but you said that was that she's not on the list. Think of something. Yeah. Think of a major conflict. European Ukraine war. Not not that soon. Okay. Old. Yeah, so like nice. World War One, World War Two. Two. Uh what? Hitler's still alive? Okay. No? Not in the top ten, but he is number twenty one. Oh god. He's an RT. Tupac is still alive. Uh, Tupac's not in the top ten. <laughs> uh, Princess um, Diana was twenty six. I don't know if I told you that. Okay. Yeah, you Kurt Cobain. Say, yeah. <laughs> um, number twelve, Courtney Love killed Court Court Kurt Cobain was number twelve. Ooh. I don't think Close. that's a conspiracy. Not top ten, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, Obama's birth certificate? <laughs> um, number fourteen. That was close. I think with Europe, like <laughs> happened during World War Two. It was a mass murder of people. Holocaust? Oh, like Eastern European. So yep. the Holocaust wasn't real? Holocaust, or... yep, didn't happen. Is number eight. Okay, I guess what? Poland in that area is still Europe. I was thinking like just Western Europe, yeah. Actually, I have uh, yeah, like, need... seen people talking about that one. I'm like, what? One, two. Okay, well, you got yeah, three well. more left. You got number five, number seven, and number nine. I mean, uh, with that, I know exactly what they are, but. <laughs> um, what, I get not to get very political, but what is the right, what does the right um, not believe in? <laughs> with Europe or with something else? Just in general. In Russia. General. Russia's not on the <laughs> list. What was that, RNG? I just said in general. I was answering what oh. you were saying. <laughs> And the and the uh, the left is very into it. Mormon Swedish. <laughs> nope. I feel like this has something to do with like it. gun control and gun rights. Not I not that it's like not that gender extreme. ideology or something. Not gender based. Okay. <laughs> I have no abortion, idea. What's the conspiracy? Not abortion. Yeah, abortion. Like. <sighs> Freedom of speech. We're triggering like, so many people right now. <laughs> okay. oh. Money. <laughs> Money. Uh, global warming. Oh, oh global oh, warming. Cool. Okay. Okay. That's too. I forgot things. about that. Okay, Al Gore. Yeah, we should just step back. <laughs> um, one yeah, has deal, or number nine deals with the Beatles. Paul McCartney's dead. Um, they're Paul still McCartney's alive. Dead is number nine. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, mean, Paul McCartney's still alive. This is still but, alive too. So as he said the Beatles, I remember that. Yeah. He got swapped out with the body devil. Yeah. But here my wife went and saw him live a couple years ago. I won't say no. I mean, there's people that say the same thing about um Oh, Avril Levine. Like Yeah, yeah I've heard that. <laughs> yeah. And the last one I don't think you guys will get, but it's the uh NWO. The New World Order. Um, yep. That the Illuminati. I know what you're talking about. But, uh, yeah, I know you're not talking about wrestling. I know what you're talking about. 
Yeah. The global yeah, like no yeah. credit yeah. for NWO. Yep. <laughs> Uh, it says the concept. Well, let me, I'll read the description of it. Hold on. I'm gonna zoom in. Um, the concept: a secretive and all-powerful group planning to um, ins- insulate a, tip- a tyrannical global regime is a common conspiracy theory. The organization will abolish sovereign states, exercising absolute control over the world's governments, economies, and societies. And sends the leader. Interesting. Oh, good list. Yeah. <laughs> Bell, that reminds me, clear my browsing history. <laughs> clear your history. Clear his bra- browsing history. <laughs> the other, one of the other hubs. <laughs> hmm. So, that's Thank your you time. on that, Ronimus. Thank you very There's much. There's other hubs? <laughs> I feel like we triggered so many people. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was thinking well, that too. I, I brought it upon us. I I told Rodimus to bring because we were talking about conspiracy theories the other night. I told him to bring a top ten for us. Um, I mean, to be fair, it's not like we were maliciously show. trying to target anything. We were no. just trying to guess on conspiracies. No, no, no. It was it's no. fun. It's fun. Yeah. Some of these though, it's like they make no sense to me at all. Like the 2012 conspiracy. What the fuck was that? The world. The world was actually destroyed on uh, 12 oh. 21 oh, 2012 in the. Yeah. And the Illuminati yeah. covered it up. That we're living in an well, alternate dimension. And that's why we have the like the Mandela effect shit going on. Yes. Uh, Harambe was an inside job. Yeah, I've heard that. I mean that I mean <laughs> I don't know. All right. the the Mandela effect theory, stuff, I might just... not be able to sleep tonight if I go down that rabbit hole. Uh, <laughs> Australia <laughs> doesn't exist. Yep, it'll be fine. <laughs> Get drunk off the salsa verde. Love it. Get your bottle of whiskey and. Uh, oh, here's I mean, another he one. Is, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> here's another one. Kim Jong Un plays games on Steam. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Bell said the ice wall. <laughs> Like that's a whole nother one. That's a whole yep. flat Earth or conspiracy. What right I'm there. shocked wasn't on here was why 2K wasn't on this list. It's because this is. I'm still surprised flat Earth list. wasn't on there somewhere. It, I guess it would be on here that said like hollowed Earth. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why so 2K I, I wasn't know. interesting enough. Like from King Kong. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah. No. I swear, why 2K was like the biggest thing that once it went past, like no one cares <clears throat> about anymore. No one it's wanted like, to make that. A we're conspiracy over it. Anymore. Not the. Yeah. Now all the businesses made their money off of it, Kingsley. They were good. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Jesus married someone and had kids. What was it? One of them. Yeah, uh, the Titanic know. was uh, switched with a weaker ship at the last moment. With the Olympi- Olympia, Olympic, one of those. Yeah. yeah. That was a whole insurance fraud thing. Oh. Metallica. Flat Earth is number sixty on the list. Okay. It's that yeah, far down. I knew it had to. Yeah. I knew it had to be somewhere. Saddam Hussein wow. owned the Stargate portal. <laughs> <laughs> and number one, Salsa Verde chips have been taken away from uh, certain markets. <laughs> yep. Why, Stan, I can't why did they take him away? Oh, Ever Levine died and was replaced Verde with an imposter. Died. Who said that he, one? I was, yeah, I that did. was what Kato was talking about. So me and oh, Kato were talking about this eight. going around. Yeah. As a sub result of all of the marketers and investment holders moving all stocks over to the best hub on the net. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, well, See. why don't we close up here? I got a jet suit. <laughs> if you wanted to finish, Kato, go for it. Just say, you know, the best need part to smoke another cigarette. Theories is there's mm-hmm. a small chance, and that's why they're plausible. Always. Just well, out there. Obvious. Just yeah. out there enough, right? Yeah. You, yeah. you guys did a live show recently, right? How did that go? I went well. Uh, we we had about 15, I think up to 20 people at once um, during the podcast. It was chaotic. Um, we said the word moist, I think, 82 times throughout the podcast. Um, Jesus. Now I'm moist um, thinking about it. 
<laughs> does Panda leave at any point after that? Because you know he did. He left for a little bit. And he came back. Then in the Discord today, everyone changed their name to Moist, whatever. I saw that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I was there for a little bit, but I had to chat. No, it was pretty good. We had a good time. Uh, we hung out a little bit. And, um, what about two hours? We're gonna do it every ten episodes. Cool. Nice. So, uh, the next week, obviously, you guys are on. So. On a Thursday. Check out Rodimus here in Guardian Hub and check out over a DPS Dudes Playing Stuff podcast. Oh, I told him I was going to be a guest on the show. I wasn't doing anything. There you go. That, that's, <laughs> it. It's, mm, that's the way to play it, actually. <laughs> I'll still bring the top 10, ten list. Interest. Yeah, I'll still bring top 10, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, so Rodimus, you're saying these words yourself. So Rodimus, tell us, tell us yeah. about what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, I'll bring the exotic list with me next week. Mm. Weapons or armor? That's important. Weapons. Weapons. Okay. I think number one will trigger a lot of people. Yeah, will it? So. Uh, R- RNG, glad to have you here tonight. Um, find RNG as a person that's all around, but uh, gets around like a badass court. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> never involved in the drama. Chillest person I know. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Never. Not as much as I used to be. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> no, it's true. I don't. You think about how much you see no, me I talking know. Discord nowadays. Not hardly ever. Yeah. Sweaty. Let way us know too busy. about your podcast. Kings, Queens, Monarchs in Between. This is Sweaty Spooks, host, one of two, of the Blueberry Lounge podcast. And you're listening to The Guardian Hub, the best hub. On the net. You mean you don't do Power World with uh, Native? I haven't played that game <laughs> in a long time. Um, I support Native, obviously, and absolutely oh, will probably be jumping in at some point. But for the time being, I got Dragon Quest to play. There you go. No, yes, I was just reading an article on them. On. That game is like tanking right now in player count. Ooh. Which, Which one? Game? Well, I um, imagine it'll be climbing soon. They're about to put a pretty massive update into the game, including raids. But uh, hey, if you want to find out more about that, <laughs> oh, there's a podcast for you. <laughs> Hell World Podcast. Yes. Check it out. And check out Sweaty on Blueberry Lounge. You got it. Even though he said the Guardian Hub. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I got to promote as an ambassador here, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> We have too much melding going on here. <laughs> Kato, uh, anything you want to say? Master um, of Sherping Raids? I, I, uh, sure. Um, I don't know. I thought you were saying you were maybe going to do some more coming up, but we can't make any promises, right? Uh, I think I've got one plan for Friday to confirm. Currently not really playing Destiny, even though Banner was fun last night. Just it's Dragon's Dogma. I hit level it's 40. Dogma. Yeah. Hit level 40 right before the podcast. I'm like, I guess I should go actually podcast. So, <laughs> We're glad you came. You know. But yeah, if you need something, DM me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And don't forget Sin, Mr. Eater of Salsa Verde Chips. He's even wearing yeah. a green shirt. Oh, by the way, the shirt, my wife made it for our trip to the uh, Safari Zoo a little south of us. It's one of the drive through zoos. Hold on, I'll stand up real quick. Not all who wander are lost. Some are looking for snacks. For snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and the, oh, the, uh, way, the kids have the same bullet, top yeah. part yeah <laughs> it actually is <laughs> and um, <laughs> so she made that for me and the other kids have like one's got an axolotl one's got something else ah, my wife look, likes making this crap yeah and it has Doritos oh, yeah. on the bottom too <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong definitely not wrong but yeah discord that's the place Kingsley my supplier of salsa verde take it out they know where you're going with that but uh <laughs> kingsley my love 
yeah, you can find me as Kingsley Mac all the places. Um, up in uh, Sin's post post office box, giving us salsa verde chips or however you get them. I don't know. They do they deliver them by uh, horse Rich out trucks. there where you live? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Horse and buggy. But you got them. Oh, Rickshaw. Rick <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sin lives in the civilized area of West Virginia, so I guess they have Amazon. Pretty much. Yep. Um, but yeah, find out everything about our show just by visiting our lovely website. And that website is theguardianhub.com. The best hub on the net. All right. Thank you, everyone. I won't go through all the names again, but thanks those listening in. We really appreciate you. Have a good week. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Later. Bye.